Hi, hello everyone. I'm Dr. Kang. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Chart Studio to make box plots. So the Chart Studio is available at this URL, chart-studio.plot.ly. To get started, we will import some data. So we are going to use the cloud seeding data that you can find in Spectrum. So click choose the data and the data will become uh, visible on the screen. The next thing to do is to click on the structure under traces. We click on tr the plus trace. This is a place that allows us to add a plot onto the screen. So we want to choose uh, explore the box plots. So we click on that. So for the box plot, we will choose um, the data on. Uh, we can put the data either on the x-axis or the y-axis. Doesn't matter. So we, for example, we choose it on the x-axis, unseeded clouds. So there you go. You get your box plot. You can choose to display the data either horizontally or vertically. So we can choose vertical. We choose vertical. Um, we will have to put the data on the y-axis. So let's try this again. So there you go. If you put it on the y-axis, the orientation should be vertical. If you put it on the x-axis, the orientation should be horizontal. Now this shows this is not yet a complete box plot. So we need to add the box plot for the seeded clouds. In order to compare the distribution of uh, the amount of rain that's caused by unseeded clouds and that's caused by seeded clouds, so to do that, to do that, we add another plot plus trace, the same type of box plot. So on the uh, y-axis, we choose the seeded clouds, and there you go. So the uh, box plot for the seeded clouds get added uh, beside the box plot for the unseeded clouds. The next thing to do is to um, refine the box plots. So we go to style, and under traces, um, the trace zero is the blue one. So that's, we edit it, that's the unseeded clouds. You can see real-time editing occurring on uh, Chart Studio, and after that, we will choose the points here. The default is high, so we're going to choose uh, outliers so that the outliers get uh, showed on the box plot. And we do the same for the other trace, which is the seeded clouds. And then correspondingly, we also change uh, from points, we change height to outliers. So that shows the outliers. You can play around with the symbol. If you don't like the solid circle, you can choose a solid square for example or a triangle or any symbol that you fancy okay but usually the field circle is good enough okay so this completes your first box plot now I want to um, uh, tell you something more about the box plots so it is actually possible to overlay the original data points on the uh, box plots so that you can see more clearly how the uh, data distribution looks like. So you can actually do that easily um, using Chart Studio. So if you see over here, you can change outliers to show all, which then shows all the distribution of the data beside the box plot. Now you can actually center 
these data points by changing the position to zero. Play with the sliding scale or you can simply put enter zero. That will center the data points on um, the box plot. So take note that there's a little bit of jittering. The jittering shakes the data uh, a little bit so that um, the stacking effect is removed. Otherwise, if that there are two data points uh, having the same value, you, will, you cannot distinguish them. So the jittering is just a device to, to, to shake up the data so that you can see stacking clearly in the data distribution. So we can do that similarly for um, the unseeded clouds. Position. Um, so let me see. Where is the? Yeah. So it is here. Okay. We so change it to show all, and the position is centered at zero. So there you go. You can see the distribution of the data points, as well as the outliers in this kind of enhanced box plots. So the last thing to do will be to complete the box plots by filling up the x and y axis properly. So, um, so we'll have on the y axis, that's the uh, rain volume. So the rain volume is um, given by something, a unit called acre feet. And on the x axis, this is the uh, seeding method. So there you go, you have completed your first box plot. Um, so from the box plot, you can easily find the uh, median, the first quartile, the third quartile. And uh, even the upper fence uh, and the lower fence, if available, are uh, given to you. Okay, so by by uh, hovering the cursor onto the graph on the box plot, you can find out all those information. So the last step is to save the graph. So you need to have a Chart Studio account, which you can sign up uh, for free easily. So now you proceed to save and then finally you can get the image by the export option, export image. You can pick any of these four um, graphic files. So we'll choose uh, PNG, custom size, download. And there you go. So there you go, you have your first box plot made. So you can insert this into your report. Uh, if you have a project, you have some data, and you feel like a box plot is an appropriate way to visualize the data, then um, Chart Studio can help you uh, make that plot easily. Thank you for watching this uh, video tutorial. See you in the next tutorial.